And first at four, I-70 shut down right now in both directions inside of Glenwood Canyon. Yeah, it's been like this for hours after a semi-truck went careening off the side of the road. There are pictures from Colorado State Patrol and CDOT show the cab of that semi-truck dangling over the edge of the westbound lane right above the eastbound lanes there. We're still working to hear if that driver is okay. Our Mountain Newsroom reporter Spencer Wilson joins us live now from the traffic hold there near Dotsero. And Spencer, it's basically, gosh, it's been terrible out there. Absolutely not fantastic to wait out here. Not fantastic considering there's still a problem in Glenwood Canyon that has closed both sides of this road. The only cars we've been seeing going eastbound have been taking things out of the canyon at this point. Now, see that confirmed the road has been closed since this morning and will be closed through the rest of the night. They told us that the truck that went over the westbound lane ended up causing secondary crashes as cars behind it tried to get out of the way. Now, right now, it's just about waiting for things to get cleared up. I'm going to wait things out. I'm going to see what I end up doing. And if I mean, I might just head back home, which would be Denver. Yeah. Um, but if I uh, if they work some magic and end up doing uh, maybe half of that, maybe I don't know. I mean, I'm just spitballing. But if, if they were to clean it up sooner than that, I might, I might just, if, you know, if I hear some updates or whatever. I mean, I didn't know that it was going to be that long. And if it's going to be that long, then, yeah, I don't know. So, Spencer, we know alternatives, of course, people have to take there because they have to get around this. So what do they do? Well, there's two options right now that CDOT is suggesting. The first one is you go north along Highway 9. Of course, you'd have to go back to Silverthorne in order to make this trip, and it takes you through Kremlin. Not exactly a fast trip. The other option, go south on Highway 50. Both of these are potentially going to add hours and hours onto your wait. That being said, it's going to be closed, at least according to CDOT, through the rest of the evening anyway. So if you do need to get on the move, those are your two options. They did say you do need to check the weather before you take any of those options, though, because they could be bad as well. But live near Glenwood Canyon, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first. Yeah, no really, no good options. All right, Spencer, thank you so much for covering everything up there for us. Well, we are dealing with more bitter cold here.